Morning, afternoon, evening, wherever it is, wherever you are. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the perfect tri steak. I say perfect steak, however, that is a matter of opinion, and everyone likes their steak different. So, what I'm going to do a nice ribeye we'll steak there, and pat this down with a kitchen towel, just dry it. It's just come out of the fridge, so it's cold. Do a seasoning. I'm seasoning a bit of salt today. You can use garlic, pepper, however, Teddy will go on some of this steak, so I can't put garlic and pepper on it. So to sort that, what we're going to do now is leave that at room temperature to get to room temperature. When it's at room temperature, that's when we're going to start cooking the steak. I will go for sweet potato fries with the steak. What I do with sweet potato fries is I just put I cut them fairly thin, put a bit of oil on a baking tray, just coat them in oil, stick them on the tray, pop that in the oven. Now I'm going to be cooking the steak in a cast iron skillet today. So what I do is get a bit of oil in the skillet. I'm going to turn that our heat on to that only to about four. We don't want the skillet too hot. I've got the steak, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sear the edges of the steak. In hot skillet. I'm going to sear both sides. By searing, what we're doing there is we're keeping the moisture in. We're going to keep that steak nice and moist and tender. And so we don't want to skillet too hot. We want it hot but not too hot, otherwise what we're going to do is you'll burn the outside of the steak and not the inside of the steak. I like mine um, medium. I know people out there are going to say that's sacrilege, but it's how I like it. And what I'm going to do is I'm frequently going to turn this steak just to cook it evenly. If you are using a skillet, always bear in mind that it's going to be red hot. It's worth investing in one of these handle covers, they're not expensive. And obviously, make sure your skirt's nicely seasoned just so that uh, stuff doesn't stick. At some point in the future, we'll probably do a video on uh, how to season cast iron correctly for you people like it cast iron cooking out there. I like to put the steak just so that you see the fat going all nice and crispy. So I'm going to call that done. What we're going to do now is put that to one side and leave that for rest for five minutes. And there we have it, one perfectly cooked ribeye steak. Look at that. We'll serve that now with sweet potato fries, a bit of mayo, dip fries in. Lovely. If you like that video, maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a good day.